Hello, brothers and sisters in Hardo's family. May we console, comfort, and pray for our mama. During the rosary, I was outside staring at Blessed Mother's tree in the pasture, at the house down in Taos. I then began to see a silhouette form within the branches of her tree, and it looked just like an outline of Jesus, handing Blessed Mother something to drink. I kept pondering on it, wondering what this could mean. It was so clear. I heard the word elixir. It was something Jesus was giving her to strengthen her. Then I realized I never think to pray for Blessed Mother. We're so accustomed to always seek her for intercession. We never think she needs our prayers too, just like our angels. I had a sense that a child was coming that would greatly wound her heart. She would be pierced with a sword of sorrow all over again and would need much strength to give up what the father was asking of her of her children, because anything done to us affects her. She is our mama. Then the scripture came to my mind, precious in the sight are the death of his faithful ones. Psalm 116, 15. What could this be about? I went to the Lord and got confirming readings. Jesus, what is on your heart? What is going on if you're willing to share? Jesus began, my beloved little one, Great distress is coming to her motherly heart because of what will happen to her faithful servants. We have already mentioned to you that this will be a hard year for many, and there are events coming where many believers will be persecuted and some of their lives will be taken. Pray for these souls that they would courageously fight the good fight of faith until the end, receiving the martyr's crown. Pray for their persecutors for a grace of conversion and repentance that they would be redeemed and move to conviction for their actions and wicked plots. When one of the faithful suffer, my mother and I suffer tremendously. She carries all my children in her heart, for they are her children as well. Just as she was a source of strength for the infant church during the greatest time of persecution, she continues to be a source of strength for the Christians being persecuted. Now to some, she is known to them. But to so many others, she carries this cross in hiddenness, as they don't yet recognize her or honor her role. But that all soon changes when they arrive in heaven and see her seated on her throne as queen of heaven and earth, and more importantly as their mother. She too needs prayer for strength, consoling, and comfort many times. And then I said, I thought in heaven, Lord, there's no tears or sadness. Could a mother neglect her young? He replied. When he said that, the scripture came to my mind. Isaiah 49, 15. Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will never forget you. Jesus continued, When you see one of your children suffering, doesn't it affect you? Yes, Lord. And you have come to see how vulnerable and sensitive I am, beloved. Although God, I'm very keen and in touch with the suffering of all my people on earth, and our hearts are united. So it's the same. In heaven, your sorrow does not turn into despair, discouragement, and hopelessness as easily as it turns into here on earth. But we feel your sufferings very keenly, especially her, for she loves perfectly as I do. She needs much comfort and strength in this hour, my beloved brides, for what she must again offer up at the foot of the cross to the Father. Your fellow brothers and sisters across the world need your prayers to endure and to be prepared to give their lives for me, for the sake of the gospel, and the salvation of many souls. No need to know the details of what will take place, but you will hear about it. I'll make sure of it to confirm this word. For now, my beloved brides, comfort your mother, pray for her strength, and make reparation to her aching heart that must go through another passion, again seeing her beloved faithful sons and daughters crucified for love's sake. That is all for now. Be with her. And that was the end of Jesus' message. Well, after this message, I was moved wondering, how can I console you, Mother? I thought worship? To pray the rosary? Then the Holy Spirit put in my mind to accompany her through the stations of the cross. I then pulled up YouTube and found there's a Mary's Way of the Cross, which takes you through the stations with her. I share this message with those of the Taos house, And we did the Mary's way of the cross. And it was so convicting and powerful. 
So family, Jesus is wanting us all to accompany Blessed Mother to the Stations of the Cross to comfort her. I'll have the link to Mary's Way of the Cross below. Let's be with our mother, praying for her, and consoling her with our love.